Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy Apancho, back at you again with another video. And so this one is an update into a situation that I covered earlier on this year, so let's jump straight into it because more in-depth details have now come out. At around 6.15pm on the 2nd of March 2021, David Longhaw left his home and began walking to Southall train station carrying a black rucksack and wearing latex gloves. He boarded a train to Ealing and then Chiswick Park, but when he arrived he was stopped by firearms officers where he was detained and searched. He denied having anything on him, but soon after they found a wrapped box in the rucksack. Within the box were two Scorpion submachine guns and around 40 rounds of ammunition. He was subsequently arrested where he gave a no comment interview but after he was charged with two counts of possession of a prohibited weapon with intent to endanger life and one count of ammunition with intent to endanger life, he would go on to plead guilty to the charges that were brought against him. In a recent sentencing hearing, it was heard that the guns were examined by experts and they were found to have been capable of rapid fire whilst the ammunition was also live. David would also claim that he had been transporting the weapons for someone as he was paying off a debt. The court heard that David still had aspirations of becoming a racing driver, which was said to have showed his immaturity and possibly stupidity. Judge Simon Davis would go on to say that the guns David had been carrying were both lethal and atrocious, adding, you were wearing latex gloves, so it seems to me you were forensically aware and did not want to leave your fingerprint if you could avoid it. You had submachine guns which had been converted and bullets from the magazines that you had with them. They were capable of wreaking havoc if discharged. They are lethal, lethal weapons and you were in possession of them. These are weapons that are atrocious. When it comes to these courts, we have to make it clear, and I will. Your young age is a factor, but these are dreadful weapons. And it was then he was handed a nine year and nine month jail sentence. Now, since the original video was put out, I've had a bunch of new subscribers. And you might be thinking to yourself, how do people even get a hold of submachine guns in the UK? Of course, in this situation, they were converted. But if you didn't know, a number of guns do exist here in the UK, and I'm talking about military-grade firearms. Of course, compared to other countries, this is relatively small, but you do have to remember here in the UK, we do have strict gun laws. I did a video a couple months back, which I will leave linked down in the description below, where the UK's FBI, the National Crime Agency, reported that between the periods of 2019 through to the end of 2020, 552 illegal firearms were seized off criminals in the UK. In that video, I documented how guns can get into the UK as well, so if you are interested to see those potential journeys and how it ends up on the streets, it's in that video. On top of this, regular viewers of the channel will know that since the Encro chat hack, a lot of organised crime groups, these are the main people who get their hands on military grade firearms, have been getting arrested and have had literally AK-47s seized off them. Yes, AK-47s on the streets of the UK. But drop a like on the video for more crime related content like this and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't. It's been me, Ape Honcho, and I'll see you in the next one.